Okay, we'll be demonstrating how to download B2N GUI Wallet for Windows and Sync It. So to download, you would go to explorer.bitcoin2.network forward slash download.html and click on the GUI Wallet for your operating system. I'm demonstrating Windows, so I'll click here, save it in the folder. So once the file is downloaded, right click and unzip it. I'll unzip it here and then I'll move it on to the desktop for demonstration purposes. But you have an option to save this folder anywhere you would like to save it on your desktop. So once the folder is unzipped, open that folder, click open the GUI wallet. Now you have two options. You can let it run and let it sync on its own, but it might take some time, right? But if you want to expedite this process, you can X out of GUI wallet here, go back to the same website and download the blockchain data. So click, o click to download. All right, so once the zip file is downloaded, I do the same thing, unzip it. Click into the unzipped blockchain folder. Select these three files, right click, copy. In your file search, type exactly percentage sign app app data percentage sign enter on your keyboard you will see this b2n coin click open that folder right click anywhere here and paste it'll give you a warning because you already have these three files select replace files in the destination now go back to your GUI wallet, open that and let it sync. It'll be very fast as you can see. It's downloading 1000 blocks. So we'll let it finish. I'll pause the video while it's syncing. Okay, so the sync process is almost done. It took about a few minutes to sync, which is a lot quicker than if you sync it, if you let the wallet sync on its own. So once the wallet is synced, it'll open the wallet. By default, it'll create an address for you. You can use the same address, but it's highly advised that you create a new wallet and save it into the folder or directory that you know where it's being saved. So to create one, we'll go into the folder. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop and I'll call it test wallet. You can name it whatever you want to name it, and I'll just save. I had one already, so I'm replacing it. That was a test wallet. There was nothing in there. So there you have your new wallet. It's all also highly suggested that you always protect your wallet with the password. Never, ever forget this password. You forget this password, nobody can recover your wallet. All right, so that ends the tutorial of how to download and sync V2.